Martin Scorsese's Killer of the Flower Moon. It's another collaboration between the director and Leonardo DiCaprio. The Oscar winners teamed up for the sixth time. Chris Connolly talked to DiCaprio and his co-star Lily Gladstone in Los Angeles. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, George. Martin Scorsese directs this true story of ruthless exploitation and murder committed against the Osage in the 1920s and the unlikely love story amid it all. At the very center of this emotionally turbulent film, Lily Gladstone and Leonardo DiCaprio. Lily, Leo, thank you so much for being here. Good to see you again, my friend. Ask Leonardo DiCaprio. 37-year-old Native American actress Lily Gladstone is the North Star and the beating heart of Killers of the Flower Moon. Kind of electrifying. I've never seen Martin Scorsese meet somebody for the first time and say, that person is doing the role, hire them. I want her to be our partner on this film. I'm a different kind of horse. A triumph for Native representation thanks to her advocacy. Her performance, a revelation, shining next to the biggest star there is. What was that? Shomikasi. That's how you are. I don't know what she said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> the respect that she and dedication that she gave to telling the story through the Osage viewpoint the right way. She kind of represented her own grandmother in a lot of ways. When I told her, Grandmother, I'm gonna be in a I'm gonna be in a movie by Martin Scorsese. Oh, Martin Scorsese. And it's and Robert De Niro's in it. <gasps> Robert De Niro and, and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh <laughs> somebody pulled out Titanic. I'm the king of the world! I guess Titanic is still the universal language. Uh, yes, it is. It was Titanic that made DiCaprio a sensation, with his talent sustaining the box office clout since that's helped him to get challenging films made. You're so stupid, Rose. And the Oscar goes to Leonardo DiCaprio. In 2016, he won Best Actor for one of those movies, this The Revenant. Ours. Now, after partnering with Martin Scorsese on The Departed and The Wolf of Wall Street, Killers of the Flower Moon is their sixth film together. What, what can I say? He's truly a national treasure. He is the great one of our time. They have a second die, take her head rights. Real life characters. In 1920s Oklahoma, Leo's World War I vet Ernest conspires with Robert De Niro's evil boss to infiltrate and murder native women from the oil rich Osage, yet also woos and weds Gladstone's steadfast Molly. For the Osage, it'd be known as the Reign of Terror. A history so devastating, Gladstone posted on X a guide for natives watching the film. This story is a microcosm for many other stories about the persecution of Native Americans. But look, this is still going on today. You talked about how your hands were shaking a little bit the first time you worked with Leo. But he, I don't we, give we, anybody the shakes, I mean. <laughs> well, but I heard that story and I imagined you 30 years ago also sitting across from Robert De Niro. It's me, isn't it? You just can't stand the fact that I exist. In 1993, it was a teenage DiCaprio making his major movie debut in This Boy's Life. I bet your hands were shaking a little bit on that occasion. Oh, for sure. They were again on this this film. I remember sure. that. For sure. You still get nervous <laughs> working with Robert, Robert De, Niro. De Niro. I did my first major role in a movie with Robert De Niro, and exactly 30 years later, I'm getting to work with him again, almost doing a version of that movie of the abused sort of, you know, stepchild that has, you know, whose father has, father figure has a mental control over him and is abusive. Don't worry, I'm gone! Just give me my paper of money. That money is gone with the wind. No! I told him to leave the gun. I told, I told him to leave the gun. Just like you what told him, kid. I don't know why he did it. I don't know why. So it felt like home. I felt like I was coming. <laughs> felt like an intrinsic part of my childhood and I fit. <laughs> right into those shoes. <laughs> You're 49 years old. How the hell did that happen? I have no idea. <laughs> we were talking about our first interview that may have been 30 years ago. What do you want to do before you turn 50? Mm, good question. Well, you know, every now and then. You know what? Just one, <laughs> one more movie. One more movie. He'll do it. And as for this movie, Lily and Leo and Martin Scorsese figured to be very much a part of the Oscar conversation. 100%. Guys? Mm, for sure. That was fun. Thank you, Chris. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.